Different color wigs all in my closet, feeling just like Dennis Rodman. Different color bills all in my pocket, feeling just like Dennis Rodman. Ten different color wigs all in my closet, feeling just like Dennis Rodman. Different color bills all in my pocket, feeling just like Dennis Rodman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feeling just hey like. Hey guys, so first off, I just want to say this video is a giant fail, but I still wanted to share with you guys anyway. Today's video is sponsored by Nadula Hair. Those are the extensions that I'm going to be using for this style, which I think is perfect for the summertime. If it's hot where you live like it is in Florida, then this is perfect. So if you guys have any tips on how to get your girl hair a little bit sleeker, please let me know in the comments. But if you want to see how I struggle, then just give this video a thumbs up and let's keep watching. So basically my hair was split into sections. It is freshly washed and now I'm just unraveling them. I let my hair air dry for about two hours and now I'm about to go with the blow dryer. I love, love, love using this silk therapy on my hair. It just keeps it soft. And I'm also trying this silk blowout spray. I'll try to leave it in the description box. This is my first time trying it on my natural hair. I honestly don't think it did anything, guys. And I don't know, typically those type of products don't work for my hair anyway, so I'm not really sure why I even tried. I'm going to try it again though when I straighten my hair, which I'm thinking about recording that too for my channel. So if you're interested in seeing me straighten my hair on my channel, let me know in the comments. But right now I'm going in with the blow dryer. I do have it on high heat. I don't really see a point in blow drying my hair unless it's on high heat. And once it's mainly dry, I'm just going to go in with a wide tooth comb and just start like getting those dead shed hairs out that I had. Um, and I'm also going to go in with oil because my hair is super freaking dry. I noticed that after using that silk blowout spray that my hair was really freaking dry and I don't know why so I did have to go in with the oil um, usually if I'm going to like straighten my hair I don't use the oil but I need one today so after I apply my oil I'm gonna go ahead and twist the hair back up so that it stays nice and detangled and separated I'm gonna continue on with the rest of my hair just like that I think I noticed my problem here when I realized I wasn't fully detangling my hair. I feel like if I would have went through with a really small comb or a really good brush, then maybe my hair would have got a little bit slicker. But as you can see in the middle of my head, that's where my hair is like the coiliest. So with my hands and with the twist, I'm able to pull and stretch, but the middle of my head would not stretch unless I went in with a comb or a brush and since my hair was already dry, it literally would hurt so bad. So I just decided to do the best that I can and leave it at that. Now I'm going to go in with this Murray's Beeswax. I actually saw this in a YouTube tutorial and the stylist did it with straight hair when her hair was pressed out with the relaxer probably or at least with a flat iron. Here is me right here trying this out to see if it's gonna work on my nappy hair and it worked okay. I was actually hoping to have some spritz or something in my house and then I realized that I didn't have any with me. So that was another fail. So all I'm doing is literally placing the beeswax on my roots and a little bit down the shaft of my hair until it sleeks it all down and as I go over my head, I'm putting it in little ponytails to keep it stretched out so that my hair doesn't ripper. Once I make it to the front of my head, I'm using this wide tooth comb to go ahead and part my hair and using the beeswax has definitely helped to part the front. So. I'm putting a little bit that uh, wherever I'm about to part and then I'm going to go ahead and do like a deep swooped around part or at least attempt to <laughs> and then I'm going to continue on with the rest of my twisting and applying the beeswax, brushing my hair down and pulling it back so that it doesn't revert.
went ahead and sleeked my baby hairs on camera really quickly for you guys. Same old, same old. And I put my hair in a little bun like this so that I can wrap the bundles around it as you'll see later on. So I'm using these leftover bundles that I had from Medulla Hair Company and I'm just going to go ahead and randomly start throwing this literally around the bun. It's pretty sloppy but honestly it don't even matter. People be trying to make a whole big situation about how you should lay the tracks. Girl just lay the tracks down. Bobby pin them. Wrap it around your bun or your ponytail or whatever you're going to do and just keep wrapping them. never get my hair sleek and then this is like the sleekest it's ever been but it's still not sleek yeah i'm tired i, I really am I'm really tired and i'm pretty pissed off so i may try to do this another day but this is the ponytail for now and i don't even want to show y'all how that looks because it don't look good but it looks good from far away so this is my attempt at a ponytail. I suck at ponytails. I still wanted to try. Um, so I'm about to do four big long curls. So guys, this is my ponytail. This is what I've gotten so far. This dog gonna last me a couple days, but I just wanted to show you guys my attempt at using this beeswax method to sleep down my hair. As for my hair, it didn't really work. Like it worked, but clearly it didn't really work. The back of my hair is still like really, just look at all that, look at all this, y'all. This is cute for the summertime, and it's perfect for those hot ass days when I don't want hair all like in my face on my back all everywhere it still gives me that long hair vibe and it's cute you can use my hair store hair but if you're interested i'll leave the links to where you can get the extensions that i used and that is it for this video i'll see y'all next time